A Denver police officer shot in the line of duty more than 50 years ago, honored by the department after his death. Robert Sandoval survived the shooting, but the injury to his head changed his life. As we continue our commitment to elevating Latino voices, we're taking a look at this long overdue honor tonight. Karen Morfitt had the chance to talk with his family, joins us from Denver. Karen. Well, Karen Sandoval passed away almost two years ago now, and his family has cared for him ever since that accident happened. They have long known the sacrifice that he made. Now, so will the community he served. On October 14th, 1969, a rookie Denver police officer took a call that would change his life forever. Got in the car and headed for Denver because this is where he was at. Michelle Santa Steven was just one year old when her uncle Robert Sandoval was injured. He was investigating a possible burglary in progress when he was shot by a frightened homeowner. He fired a shot through the door and it went, hit him right directly in the head. While entirely paralyzed on his left side, Sandoval had hoped to one day return to the force. Santa Steven says that would never happen, but that her uncle learned to walk and talk again and lived as independently as possible. He had 51 years of life. Sandoval died in 2020, and this year was added to the Fallen Police Memorial, typically reserved for those killed in the line of duty. They had to go through all kinds of channels, basically his doctors and everything, to agree that he passed away due to the shooting. For Hispanic Heritage Month, the Denver Police Museum is taking that recognition one step further. This was a uh, decision that we made to bring the memorial to the public. On the street where Robert Sandoval took his last call, there will forever be a reminder of his sacrifice. I think it's a great honor that they're giving him now. His whole goal, I think, in life was just to go out and help people. The Denver City Council also recognizing Sandoval for Hispanic Heritage Month by issuing a proclamation at their meeting earlier tonight. His family says they only wish that Robert Sandoval would have been here to see just how much his sacrifice was appreciated. We're live in Denver tonight. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Karen, thank you for sharing that tonight. Thank you. And coming up at 10 pro